In the world of photography, true innovation doesn't arrive in small increments. Every so often, a technological leap reshapes the entire industry, changing the way we capture, process, and experience images. From the transition from film to digital, to the rise of DSLRs, and the birth of mirrorless systems, these pivotal moments have marked photography's evolution. In 2021, Nikon made such a leap with the release of the Nikon Z9. For years prior, many had questioned whether Nikon was lagging behind in the mirrorless revolution. Sony had surged ahead with its Alpha series, and Canon was steadily expanding its EOS R lineup, leaving Nikon appearing slow and perhaps anchored to its DSLR heritage. The Z9, however, silenced skeptics. It wasn't merely an incremental upgrade, it was a bold, confident statement. With its 45.7 megapixel stacked sensor, 20 frames per second raw burst rate, advanced deep learning autofocus, and internal 8K video capabilities, the Z9 re-established Nikon as a dominant force in professional imaging. Wildlife photographers, sports shooters, and filmmakers immediately found renewed trust in the brand, recognizing that Nikon could compete at the highest level once more. Yet, the passage of time is relentless. The camera industry evolves at lightning speed. Sony's Alpha 1 set new standards for hybrid performance, Canon's EOS R3 pushed the boundaries of speed and low-light tracking, and brands like Fujifilm and Panasonic captured the attention of filmmakers with video-focused bodies. By 2025, three years after the Z9's debut, the landscape has shifted again. Enter the anticipation for the Nikon Z9 II, a camera that is not expected to be a mere refinement, but a comprehensive evolution. The Z9 II is rumored to be a true flagship designed to not only keep Nikon in the professional mirrorless conversation, but to propel it forward, reclaiming leadership in a competitive market. Starting with design, the Z9 had already set a benchmark with its integrated vertical grip, offering both professional aesthetics and functional benefits such as balance, endurance, and ergonomics. Photographers spending long days in the field, wildlife shooters managing heavy telephoto lenses, and event photographers working tirelessly appreciated these thoughtful design choices. The Z9 II is expected to refine this blueprint. Rumors suggest a lighter, more ergonomically shaped body with smoother contours, retaining rugged durability while improving comfort for extended shooting sessions. Nikon appears keenly aware that professionals demand a combination of strength and usability, and the Z9 II seems poised to deliver exactly that. The electronic viewfinder has become a critical battleground for flagship cameras. While the Z9's EVF was strong, competitors have steadily raised the bar. The Z9 II is rumored to feature a 9 million dot EVF with a 240 hertz refresh rate, a transformative upgrade if confirmed. For photographers tracking rapid motion, this could eliminate lag entirely, providing a natural, fluid viewing experience. Filmmakers working in 8K would benefit from unprecedented clarity, making precise framing and composition far easier. The rear LCD is also likely to see an evolution. Where the Z9 offered a tilting screen suitable for traditional photography, today's hybrid professionals demand a fully articulating, high-resolution display. Such a screen would serve vloggers, streamers, and filmmakers, providing flexibility for complex angles and dynamic shooting situations. Nikon clearly recognizes that the modern professional often straddles photography and videography, and one tool must meet the demands of both disciplines. Performance is the heart of any flagship camera, and the Z9-2's rumored upgrades suggest it will excel. While the Z9's stacked CMOS sensor was already formidable, the Z9-2 is expected to carry a sensor in the 45 to 50 megapixel range. At first glance, this may seem a modest improvement, but megapixels alone do not define performance. Speed, readout efficiency, and rolling shutter control are equally critical. The Z9-2 is rumored to offer faster readouts and reduced distortion, ensuring that image quality does not come at the cost of responsiveness. For wildlife and sports photographers, as well as videographers, these refinements could make the difference between capturing decisive moments and missing them entirely. Processing power is another anticipated area of growth. The Z9 second may employ Nikon's next-generation processor, or perhaps even a dual processor system, enabling faster burst shooting, more intelligent autofocus, and advanced video capabilities. Reports suggest raw frame rates exceeding 30 frames per second with full autofocus tracking, performance that could rival or even surpass Sony's current flagship models. For professionals, this capability is crucial, allowing them to capture fast-moving subjects with unparalleled precision. Autofocus is a key differentiator in high-end cameras, and the Z9's Deep Learning AF already impressed the market by tracking eyes, animals, vehicles, and even aircraft. 
The Z92 is expected to refine this system further, with improved subject recognition, stickier tracking, and enhanced low-light performance. Imagine capturing a sprinter launching off the starting blocks or a bird darting from dense foliage into open sky. Professional photographers rely on the camera's ability to maintain sharp focus, and the Z92 appears poised to deliver this reliability consistently. Video capabilities are increasingly vital for flagship cameras. The Z9 made headlines with 8K 60p internal RAW recording, a groundbreaking achievement. Rumors indicate the Z9 II could push these boundaries further, potentially offering 8K 120p, greater RAW flexibility, improved color science, and nearly eliminated rolling shutter artifacts. Overheating management is expected to improve, making extended shoots more feasible. This positions the Z9 II as a compelling choice for filmmakers who previously overlooked Nikon, offering cinema quality output in a body compact enough for fieldwork or travel. Reliability remains non-negotiable for professional users. The Z9 II is expected to retain dual CF Express Type B card slots capable of handling 8K RAW bursts and long-duration video captures. Battery life is likely to see improvements as well. While the Z9 already offered impressive endurance, Enhanced power efficiency could make the Z92 one of the longest-lasting professional mirrorless cameras available. Connectivity is also a growing focus, with faster Wi-Fi and potential 5G integration enabling instantaneous image delivery for sports photographers, news agencies, and content creators alike. Direct cloud uploads, newsroom integration, and real-time client previews are now part of the professional workflow, and Nikon seems poised to meet these demands with the Z92. Pricing is always a factor in the flagship segment. The Z9 launched at $5,500, undercutting many competitors while offering more features. The Z9 II is rumored to cost around $6,000 to $6,200, a price that remains competitive relative to Sony and Canon's top-tier offerings. This pricing strategy positions Nikon to attract professionals considering system switches while reinforcing its commitment to delivering high-end performance without exorbitant costs. The Z9 restored Nikon's reputation as an innovator. The Z92 has the opportunity to cement its status as a market leader. With every new rumor, anticipation grows. With each leak, excitement builds. When it finally arrives, the Nikon Z92 could redefine the professional mirrorless landscape, offering photographers, filmmakers, and hybrid creators a tool that truly does it all. One camera that bridges worlds, sets new standards, and positions Nikon as a leader in shaping the future of imaging. The Z92 isn't just an upgrade, it's a statement, a bold promise, and potentially, the next milestone in photographic history.